this is my favorite way to work because I have no plan. I have no preconceptions. I have no sense of the direction or where this drawing is going to take me. And I really love to work that way because, frankly, I've got a pretty... <laughs> I've got a pretty short attention span, and I'm easily bored. I just start and feel my way through the drawing. Just keep going, keep working, step by step, building in layers. Uh, one thing leads to another. One idea creates another direction. And in that way, I keep myself engaged through the whole process. Uh, it's it's kind of fraught because <laughs> you can blow it at any moment. You could lay down a really ugly form or make a mistake or spill or have an accident and wreck the piece. And especially as you get later in the work, it's just about feeling your way, kind of like uh, walking in the forest without a trail. You don't really know where you're going. You could get lost. You could fall off a cliff. Disaster lurks around every bend, especially late in the drawing where you've done a lot of work and you really like it and things are clicking along and you think it's coming great. Then you could destroy the thing in two bad moves. It's like chess, you know. You <laughs> you got yourself into a good position. You're working great. And then you make a couple of dumb moves and you draw something horrible. And there's no way to get it back. These materials are indelible. I mean, it's, it's, paint, it's paint pens, it's ink, it's, it's crayon, it's pencil. I mean, it's really, there's no way to erase it or start over. Working analog is like that. You know, when you're working inside of Photoshop or any other drawing program, you can just hit the undo button a bunch of times and go back a few steps. So there's a lot less risk. But the risk causes anxiety, and the anxiety shows in the work, and that's what I love about it. My favorite thing about my work, and the thing that I kind of try to pursue is, you know, you put your feelings in. I'm not drawing the way things look. I'm drawing the way they feel, or how I feel about stuff. It's also my favorite thing about art. When you look at the work of any artist, for me, the most interesting thing is to see a very unique view of the world, a very unique vision about what the world feels like and what life feels like. People often prefer realism, partly because they think that that's harder somehow, <laughs> when it's exactly the opposite. I mean, realism is the thing they teach you on the first day of art school. You walk in there and they teach you to, to look and see and then draw and put down accurately what your eyes see. That's like that's like art 101. Uh, most artists, if you look at great artists like Picasso and you look at what they were doing when they were 12 years old, they were it was painting realistically and it was astonishingly well too. But it's not that realism is bad and I, I realist painters get mad at me because I think that it's less interesting than art that shows a point of view and a vision and a, a, a way of thinking that can only be revealed by this language, by a visual language of drawing, painting, sculpting. I mean, that's what makes art so great is it allows you to see worlds that you can't otherwise see. You know, people like me are better at expressing their point of view and their visions through their artwork than they are in writing. That's why we're not writers. And that's why I work this way. It's totally different than doing client work. In any client project, every single parameter, every single thing is called out ahead of time, planned out meticulously. You know exactly what the thing's going to look like at the end of the project. And your job is to get there as quickly, as reliably, as perfectly. You need to match the quality and the, and the requirements of the job. You need to do it on time. You need to be on budget. And all of those things make art making for clients feel like a job. Whereas when you sit and draw, you just get into the zone, maybe you put on music, and you just feel your way to a result that you hope is satisfying and expressed accurately what you were feeling at the moment. I hope you got something out of this, and I hope you like these new videos that I'm putting on the channel. Leave me a comment, tell me what you think. There's going to be a lot more of this kind of content on this channel, and I hope it has some value for you. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.